So this is going to be an interesting video. I don't know what that is. No, 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 we just play the game. What's up? We're going to be playing some SpongeBob. That's all I got. <laughs> I'm not feeling too good. Not saying I have the Rona, but I might. You might hear the fan and noisy PlayStation in the background. Welcome to the Can't help it. Bottom, <laughs> a normally peaceful fantasy sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle, Bits, Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? <laughs> now that intro brings back a lot of fucking memories. This is one of my favorite PS2 games of all time. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Why is he happy about that? Yeah, skip all that. I already, I already know all this. Can't say I particularly like the way he controls. I mean, it's... Yeah, there's... 
it doesn't feel too good. Like spinning around on the old one, it felt a whole lot better, but you could actually spin around. I won't compare it all that much. At least I, I'll try. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. <laughs> I hate that I have to constantly d press X and it doesn't do it on its own. Sound effects. Oh, you can do it in midair now. You probably could. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna criticize this game as I see fit. I don't like the way the shiny objects look. They look horrible. Not really horrible, but I don't like the way they look. They're not shiny. They look like Play-Doh. Like that's that's one thing that I didn't like showing inside the thing the uh, trailers it's just play-doh it, it, it doesn't look good to me I mean if someone enjoys it that's great but I prefer the old shiny objects they look nicer might just be nostalgia talking but Ready? Can't take it. all right hold up one second all right so I have a limited time to really do this. I turned the fan off. It, I could hear that it was getting kind of noisy. So, I gotta play this a little bit quickly because, you know, it's gonna get really fucking hot in here. That's pretty cool. Let's try this. I like the little detail they add. Was that sea what? Seaweed juice? Volcano sauce? Hey, it's the sauce that fucking Sandy was trying to pour on his tongue that one time. Same shit up there. <laughs> the emergency Krabby Patty. I like that. It's from that uh, the Yeti episode. I haven't watched a lot of new SpongeBob, but I've seen a couple. They're they're all right. There's is some down points where I'm like, eh, no. But, yeah, no. They got some good shit. Canned coral. Don't know what that's from. It's probably a newer one. Maybe old, and I'm just not really paying attention. Hey, look, mystery. I can see now. Is that the soap? Don't drop it. As you can tell, I'm a really big SpongeBob fan. Oh, look, there's a uh, 2000 Gary. Nothing new age 2020. Alright, one more second. I like the map in this game, it's pretty neat. Oh, here's the one where you can take damage. Oh, what? You didn't have an anvil follow me. What, you guys couldn't animate that? I feel like a new sponge. I feel like a new sponge. I like these voice lines. <laughs> it's fucking salty Splatoon episode. I like how they have all these little paintings everywhere. I like that. Stock image. Love opening presents. Sometimes that's a, that's pushing a simple a button line. is the most satisfying. You've never push, said that push, before. push, push. <clears throat> Beach ball. It's probably not the correct way to do it, but you can't land on it. You used to be able to land on it. As you can tell, I've somewhat forgotten this game. It's been a couple years. It shines! 
I was watching a video of, uh, will be glad to have this back. I was watching a video of this streamer named Switch. He's pretty cool. Uh, he streams a lot of Battle for Bikini Bottom. He's a speedrunner. I've never really liked speedrunning, I suppose that was meh. Hey, people enjoy it. More power to it. But, uh... Should I forget anything? But, uh, it's pretty neat, but I was watching that. He flew over and he told them about that. It, that right there, the doing the little bubble turn like that, creating more uh, air time, basically. Probably got forgot something. I have a trophy. Yeah. I think there's usually a hundred that you walk out of here with. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Uh, this is most likely going to be. This 100%. is where I keep all my old comic books. All right, that should have been triggered way before whenever I got in here. Maybe. Maybe not. They claimed they were gonna add some cut content, but it seems like they never added Club World. Kinda lame. I mean, hey, it's each their own. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. I was hoping for like Glove World, you know, get rid of the pier, put it into Glove World, make Glove World a thing. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. But hey, I mean, they didn't want to do it, they didn't want to do it, or they couldn't do it. You know, I don't know the reasons. I was just hoping for all the cut content to basically be made into something. I know the robot Squidward, I think, got turned into a, a multiplayer fight, but I ain't never gonna play that with no one. <laughs> I'm the only one that ever plays games ah, like these. There's nothing like the sounds of your Let's own neighborhood. More. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. I like the, uh, I like the new and improved animations. Oh, they just took out the little red things on the ground. It's kind of lame. Why the fuck is Goolagoon so damn close? I mean, I know it's a hub world. Hold on. Before I hear Mr. Krabs, I want to hear that note that I totally forgot to fucking press. I was like, man, I was, I'm was i going to press that note once I'm done with the fucking other areas. Didn't do it. Stupid me is like, nah, I don't feel like I make myself a snack, but there's no time! All this should have been triggered I the moment I walked in. Snack, Never mind. But there's yeah, shut no up. a note from Mr. Krabs! <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Okay. Is this gonna be Clancy Brown, or is this gonna be the fake one? I feel like it's gonna be the fake one. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Gosh damn it, As it is! As a faithful crew member Gosh of the Krusty damn Krab, it. you've been, er, uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! We well, couldn't ever get Clancy Brown, like, no one could have him record these lines one more time? Like, Nickelodeon, you couldn't pay for this shit? You put your name on the game. That's Whatever. right! A promotion! 
So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Gosh fucking damn it. Like, what the fuck? Like, we couldn't have, like, put his freaking, is that snail chow? I was wondering what that was. Um, we couldn't have fucking gotten Clancy Brown back just to re record his fucking lines. Like, we couldn't have done it. He was inside the fucking movie game, why can't he be in this one? I get it back in the day, but what the fuck? Ugh, oh, fucking A. This PlayStation's gonna cook me alive. It's hot over here in Arizona. No more water break. What, SpongeBob don't look at me like that? I'm drinking water, dude. Alright. I remember looking on Dreams for uh, PlayStation. And somebody was making a remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Which is funny because not even a couple of times. What the fuck? That was a glitch. Not even a little bit later. Yeah, I know. Not even a little bit later, they, uh. They announced that this was basically in production and. I was like, well, maybe the dude in Dreams is gonna give up. Nope, I'm pretty sure he's still making progress on it. Hey, SpongeBob! Bubble Buddy! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble Buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man! But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! They got rid of the shiny object that was at the top of the stickies. There's a blue one. Cha-ching! Thunder Tiki. I love opening presents. Yeah, that's a new line. See if they couldn't have Tom Kenny record new lines. Why couldn't they have Clancy Brown record lines? Whatever. I don't think the shiny objects are an actual, like, collectible currency. I think it's just... I think what I'm thinking of is totally not that. I think these are just random shiny objects you can get for money. Basically money, that's all it is. They're not a collectible like the notes from Banjo Kazooie. Because that's truly what I was thinking it was. Oh, I barely made that. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Fresh like a spring green. That's pretty cool. I like the way the pineapple does that. FYI, SpongeBob has to be my favorite cartoon of all time. I grew up with it when it first came out in 1999. I, at, the, at the time, I was only four years old, but I still remember the first episode, the Bubble Stan episode. Along with, of course, him being introduced, to the, or him getting hired at the Custard Crab. That was the true first episode. I think the Bubble Stan was episode, or the t second episode in the 11-minute special. Yeah. Oh, look at the little hammer robot. It was smashed. Uh, I remember that, though. That, that, was, that was a good day. Or, that was a good time. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? One thing I can say about this game is I don't like the texture pop in. I don't like when any game does it. It kind of really just annoys me. I don't know why, but it's just annoying. I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Why couldn't you make him, like, actually smile? I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Alright, I'm gonna I'm tell you something right now, Purple Lamp. You don't have your fucking character spam voice lines. 
Especially the same voice line he just said five seconds ago. <laughs> Fix that shit. Look at that. Little... It's like the show. It's actually how it is in the show. They got little backgrounds. I'm just being a little tough on them. They did a great job. It looks nice. Hey, he didn't say I'll hey. See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. Don't touch me. Oops. He was supposed to say, all right, hey, all right, Squidward. all right. Didn't I pay you to go away? And he was supposed to say, all right, all right. Stop already. I just didn't expect, like, two jumps to do something. Sorry, Squidward. I didn't mean to hit you, bro. Yeah, you destroy everything. They got rid of a lot of sound effects. They didn't bother, like, copying again. Because that was supposed to go, ta -da! Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Have some Squidward. That is actually funny. Because that was not in the original. That is from one of the later seasons. I don't remember if it's season four later on or something like that. But yeah, Handsome Squidward was not. It's a meme. They basically added a fucking meme into the game just because they thought it'd be funny. Which, hey, by all means, I was, you know, I thought it was funny too. So yeah, go ahead and add it. Um, one thing I wish they would have done is that one episode where uh, Squidward's suicide was referenced in the actual fucking Spongebob episode. I wish they would have done that one. Felt like it would have been funny. Okay. <laughs> I love opening presents. Uh, what the fuck did it do that? Alright, so I, so I solved the random. Ooh. Ooh. What a glitch. I solved the, uh. <clears throat> the, uh, echo problem. I kept hearing it, I was like. If there's a slight echo, I'm sorry, but I can't really do anything about it. Probably need to get a new mic, but you know, what can you do? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this one's starting to reach its, you know, midpoint of starting to be faulty. All right, let's go talk to Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Another find for Patrick! There's a sock in here. I think it's one Living of under a his... rock. Now that's the life. I don't know if that voice line was ever in there. I like how they added a little ladder. That's nice. It's here in this couch. He's just... Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. The load times are kind of weird, because... I don't know if the... No, there were still load times. I kind of like... Or miss that the... Little bubble animation. Where you load and you can see all the bubbles going up and down. Kind of miss that. The texture pop is going to annoy me. Their hearing range got turned down a lot. I like how they get all scared when you get near them. That's pretty funny. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to Mr. Krabs. Fun Not Bob. Krabs. This flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to... I skipped it a bit, my bad. Oh shit. 
Oh, that animation got carried over. Huh! <laughs> High def hand. Okay. That's funny. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. I always liked having it in uh, dreams when I was just going around with things. Someone put it in there. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. I'm amazed how many voices Tom King can actually pull off. Love opening presents. I mean, I know he's a professional voice actor, but still, like, it shines. <laughs> that's different. You really could just whack them away, or uh, they would just like disappear. It's the imaginary box. I don't think it was imaginary, I think it's just the box. It's the box where you used your imagination. You're not gonna see me reading a whole bunch of these signs. Cause uh I already know everything. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots! I feel like a new sponge. I have a confession to make. So, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, I kind of have a soft spot for, because growing up, I played that one too. You've just met the Spongenator. I kind of like that game too, just because I had it as a kid. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty alright. Aside from, you know, the glitches and the game, and fucking disc itself breaking whenever I had it. I thought it was because of maybe my poor handling, because as a kid I never really like really took care of my games. Oh, yeah, I fell into the goo. I thought I could actually like fucking bubble thingy out of it. Yeah, these load times are a big problem. Cause in the original you could just pop back in. Here it has to reload. I mean I know it's reloading a lot more, but still, come on. Cut that out. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> but I got a soft spot for uh, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. I don't know, I, I just I always had a soft spot for it. Couldn't tell you why. I don't know. Something I've always like enjoyed. Oh, that's a different sound than we've made. It's a little different. Alright, I ain't getting that one. Fuck that one. 
if I try to get it. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Oh, hey, still got it. Sweet. I don't know how to do that out of bounds glitch. I'm pretty sure they already patched it out. Not really patched it, but they didn't put it in the game, so. Yeah, I don't care. Ah, gosh damn it. Like a spring breeze. I like these robots, they're a lot more, they look a lot more menacing. Yes. Yeah, still you. the... Patrick needs to do laundry. Still the, uh... Shiny objects aren't doing it for me. I don't like the way they look. I like the shinier ones. I don't know. There's a green one that I didn't get. Whoops. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Does anyone remember the trailer looking a lot more pink? I don't know why it was so much more pink in the trailer. I, mean, I might just be seeing shit, but to me, it looked pink. I'm not talking a lot, it's just <clears throat> like I said I'm not feeling too good. I'm kinda focused as well. I would like to see a remake of Revenge of the Flying Dead. Mainly just because I'd like to see it done right. Like I, I felt like there was some good stuff in there. Many people were complaining. Oh, downtown bikini bottom didn't look like a downtown bikini bottom. I always took it as it was someone else's interpretation. That's what I took it as. So I was like, eh, I don't really have a problem. I kind of liked it. it. You know, gave it to a new feel. I mean, if I could beat it at like 10, 11, whatever age I was. I don't see a problem why adults can't beat it. They're like, oh, it's too hard, it's too confusing, like... I never had a problem with it. It seemed fine. Sure, it's a glitchy, buggy mess, but I feel like it's an okay game. Might just be my nostalgia talk- oh, fuck. I mean, my, uh, nostalgia talking, but... I, I never really had a problem with it. I feel like it was an alright game. <laughs> yeah, there's not as much hang time in this game as, you know, in the original. Oh, shit. Another find for Patrick! Shit. Oh, okay, it's not as it's not lock on like fucking the original jellyfish did. It actually have a beam that locks on you, so even if you moved away, it's still shock your ass. Stop shooting shit. Gosh damn it! You're supposed to say, "Hey, Gary, what's shaking?" Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven. Yeah, just go grab your little slice of heaven and we'll begin. Oh, you can't spam dive. Right. I like more whenever he's like, ultimate wedgie experience. Fucker. Fuck you. I brought some fucking live into my nuts. Ham. 
Er, I, I get it. I can't do his laugh. I love SpongeBob, but I can't do his laugh. I'll do 100% on this on this uh, game. So love opening presents. Just because I love this game so much, I will collect everything. Like a new sponge. I'm just able to remember all this shit. I just remember it from back in the day. Gosh, fucking damn it. Fuck you. It hurt. It hurt me, me stones. I just remember everything. I have a pretty good memory whenever it comes to this game. Just because it's something I loved. Oh, that was weird. I couldn't get up there. It wouldn't let me. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall. How cheap are you guys, assholes? You always do that jump as a kid. Oh yeah, young me had a lot of fucking great times with this game. Fresh like a spring breeze. I was just as big of a SpongeBob fan back then as I am now. Even more now, just because I can appreciate all the comedy, the comedic gold that comes with the show. I feel like developers are a little too scared to like step out of the boundary when it comes to like certain things. Like, in my honest opinion, I'd give them a couple moves from uh from uh oh like how the eyes that's pretty neat. The uh the movie game. I'm gonna give them a couple moves from that. Not the karate chop where he'd wear the gloves, not that, just keep the bubble on. It makes more sense with his bubble blowing abilities. But, uh... Oh, look, a couple old no-names. But I'd give him, you know, maybe a metal one instead of a pink one and start turning a metal do more damage. I mean, I guess it... It didn't necessarily work, because everything just still takes one hit. In the movie game, they would start taking more hits. Oh, man, I... Oh well. I mean, it's gonna bother me to no end, but you know, fucking. I have to remember where all the socks are. I'll start forgetting about it and be like, oh, where's the socks? I don't know why I like hitting him, but I do. Yeah, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not a good idea to do that, but you know, it's either or. It's fine. I feel like it'd be a pretty, you know, neat kind of thing. It's kind of annoying how the PlayStation doesn't re record how good the game is. Like, the way I'm recording, it's not going to do this. It shines! Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's not, it's not going to do this any justice. Oh, hold on. I wonder if I can do this. But that does that sound better? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, enough bullshitting around. Enough stopping. If there's a slight echo, I'm sorry. Can't really fix it. I tried. I can still hear it. It's whatever. Ha! <laughs> oh, gosh damn it. I rely on this way too much. <clears throat> it would, like, really stop your momentum. You'd start falling, you just... Whoop! Nope. Fuck it. I just might be remembering dreams a little too much. But, uh... Yeah. And there's a lot of people wondering, how's there water underwater? That's not water, that's goo. I mean, they made it look more like water. I don't know why. The dark blue is kind of what it's supposed to look like even in the show. But yeah, it's goo. That's what it is. It's not a... It's not water. I mean, I might 
I might be not remembering this right, but. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. If what I remember being told was correctly, there are pockets of even water underneath water. Not 100% sure if that's even true. It could be a fucking lie, but, you know. It just amazes me how many times people are like, well, why is there water underwater? It's cool. Different. It's a different kind of liquid, I guess. It's Apparently you heavier just than met the spongenator. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot that damages you. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I might try switching to, like, my headphones, see if that makes it better. <clears throat> Can't guarantee it's gonna sound better on my end, but it could. Wow, Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Here comes fake Mermaid Man! Uh, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! And now, what was I supposed to tell you? I get why they didn't get his voice actor back, because I'm pretty sure if I read it correctly, or people were talking about it, I'm pretty sure his actual voice, Mermaid Man's voice actor passed away. I'm not 100% sure, but the original for, you know, the first one through three was the original, but maybe? I don't know. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help! Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! <laughs> Here I come! I remember I used to spam that a lot as a kid. I like the way this looks. I love opening presents. That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Why not now? I think I'll try it now. Get in the box. There you go. <clears throat> I guess tongue's not pink anymore. You. Patrick needs to do laundry. Now it's uh what the hell? It's like there's no air time. It's uh, not pink anymore, it's now red. Bright red at that. Don't know how I feel about these sound effects. It's weird, like I'm trying to jump but it won't let me. See, it's weird. Like, I tried jumping off of it and it won't let me. Look, the Unreal Engine's nice, but... I don't know. I don't know how you feel about... the way it functions. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I don't know what engine was used for the original, but... <clears throat> I know the Unreal Engine feels a little weird to me. It always has, I don't know why. I feel like a new sponge! Just my side!
I like the battle music. Battle music is nice. Tartar sauce. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. That spatula's bent. This is why you don't... Oh, boy, boy, oh, boy. This way you don't try to flip the monster, Krabby Patty. Whoop! Up we go! A little more physics to the watermelon. Uh -huh. So bright, so shiny. Ooh, wooden presents. Ah. It's weird how it doesn't lock on anymore. This part coming up was pretty fucking funny. Whoop! That was shit. My bad. Whoop! If this game does well, I hope I see more SpongeBob games before, you know, I turn 30. 25 right now. Uh oh, this one goes boom! Oops. Should have used that, but eh, what can you do? I wanted the money. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. <laughs> this fucking oh, rock! Mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my <laughs> words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket! Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! <laughs> it's, it's the welcome changed over them. Just standing there with the same position, just doing the same animation. I like it. Looks a little funny, but yeah, it's Ooh, better than what it used to be. Dark cave. Ouch. Okay, the camera whipping like that, not a good idea. I don't like that. <clears throat> Water glitching out over there too. So that's what the fucking noise is just to sound like. <laughs> okay. Fucking watermelon. By the way, can we acknowledge how tiny this watermelon is? It's the size of a fucking sea star. This is a tiny ass watermelon. Gosh, fucking damn it. It's the fucking second time I've done that. 
all I wanted to do. I didn't even need that watermelon. What a waste of my damn time. It's like, I got money. Okay, no iframes, cool. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. That's much better. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. I'm pretty good at predicting these things. <laughs> So playing this game reminded me of something I was doing the other time. I was playing ukulele. And man, is that game fucking boring as hell. The original, not the 2D side scrolling one. I, will crush them. I was playing that one and I was like, man, this is so fucking boring. I was like, why is it boring? I think mainly because the levels feel so fucking empty. That's the main reason. That's much better. Woo! Up we go! Whoops. Send some more boys over this way. Oh. Ow. Fuck you. Gosh fucking damn it, I tried picking him up. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Ouch! Oh, again! Again! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Well, <laughs> that played a little too early. Alright, you fucker. Play as a whistle. I'm not that good at this game, appar Ouch. apparently. I suck shit. Gosh, fucking damn it. <laughs> I've never gotten hit by this boss back in the day. Now, apparently, I can't fucking control SpongeBob for shit. <laughs> 